Hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another look at Nibiru. Indeed, inspect the crash site. Oop, there's one of these odd looking fellas. So yeah, last time around we had a little bit of a problem where well, we got into the one building and uh In that scenario, I will not last long. It's worth looking for the remains of the ship's bug. And even better if you can find weapons and medicine. Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know he was going to pop up and interrupt me like that. Um, yeah, we wandered into, I guess it was the third building we're supposed to find. And it unfortunately, uh, had a never-ending... It seems the costume's energy is coming to an end. And oxygen is not enough for a long time. Hmm, when I fell, I saw an old rover nearby. There could be oxygen tanks and batteries. Hurry up. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now they want us to go and find the rover. But yeah, we were in a building that had such a... Uh, high rate of respawn to the critters inside that we weren't really able to do what we should have been able to do in there. So, uh, needless to say, well, we left. But we're going to try it again. I uh, asked the developer about it. He didn't seem to think it was an issue. He said, well, you're not supposed to hang around in that building. And I sort of countered with, well, what is the point of having that in sort of almost instantaneous respawn? Because, oh, a little bit of a spike there. Now, I believe that's how we do that. Whoa. Well, that was rather unexpected. Raw meat. Mm hmm. Well, that took a while. That robot thing went away? Yes, it did. Good. Uh, yeah, I told the developer I thought it was rather an odd decision. You know, it's not an MMO. You don't have to worry about every player that shows up needs to, you know, farm a certain number of those creatures or anything. But we'll see. Didn't sound that interested in, uh... Making the change, making any sort of changes to it. But rather just coming up with reasons why there was no issue with having infinite spawning... ...go on inside of that. So we'll see. It's, um, I've also noticed that the last couple of updates, rather than dealing with some of the, what are obviously issues in the game, um, he started working on getting the multiplayer facet underway. Yeah. So, I don't, uh, unfortunately, really have a lot of hope for this going as far as it might have. I found that tends to be quite an issue when, uh, Developers don't have a single player fleshed out yet, i.e. the mechanics and base of the game, and decide that, oh yeah, because everybody's going, oh, multiplayer or no buy, and, uh, you know, so they immediately start doing multiplayer. Ooh, level up. Nice.
Okay, I want to make sure I don't accidentally whack him with my knife. That might have been what triggered that other guy to attack me. Or he might just be, you know, nasty. You never can tell. Alright, they want us to go down to this rover. So, let's do that. Well, more of this, huh? Oh, yeah, it's one of those robots. There we go. In we get. What do we get? Yes. Some bullets. Suit power cell, O2 tanks, multi-tool cartridges. Great. You can make the batteries on your own. It remains just to find the Niberia. I recall that on the rover map, the nearest field was marked near a large rosewood. Pretty sure I've already done that, haven't I? Nibirium, yes. Oh, this is what I have in my bag? Iron. Oh, that was aluminum was the other thing. Okay, so it wasn't Nibirium. I see. What do I have that I can craft anything? Not really, eh? There we go. Oh, it's going to create them one at a time? Oh, wow. And that slowly, eh? Hmm. Can't just click them. Alrighty. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? <laughs> Not really, eh? Yeah, I didn't expect it would be drivable, considering the wheels hanging off. But you never know. Well, there might be something stashed. Uh, you got overhead compartments and such going on. Sure. What's this? Well, I guess we don't need to know the keycad, because I can imagine it would open that. Which is, well, open. Alright, back in here. You're done, are you? Oh. Take all. There we are. And we should also be able to create a bunch of these. There we go. But at least we know we don't have to actually stand there. That's a good thing. So Nibirium, hmm? Apparently that is the uh, tree in question, I would think. Uh, sure. Let's take a little walk-a-doodle over there. See what happens. Okay, there's iron ore. That I... Whoa. Really, dude? You're gonna sit right on top of the one I'm attacking so that I get you by accident, are you?
All right, he left. I feel like a damn no. If not for the recent event, the successful extraction of an extraterrestrial element could be reason for the party. <laughs> Now I have Niberium. I have the possibility to create battery. The onboard computer found a nearby mini station. Apparently, our predecessors are based on it. Or were based. Anyway, it's worth going there right now. Find out the details on the spot. Since this doesn't seem as commonly scattered as the others, we should probably gather a little bit of it while we're out here. Saw another one here, it is. Then we're going to go back over to that rover and gather our materials. an interesting building. Oh, here's one more. What do you know? It takes an awful lot of smacks to break one of these. But then I guess uh, a hunting knife is not probably what I would use for mining generally. Although it seems to do... Uh, At least according to the particle effects, a rather strange kind of damage for simply a sharpened chunk of steel. There's that robot dude again. I don't trust them in particular. Hmm, apparently he's just killed something off. All right. And we can take all of these. Now, can I cook? I certainly can. Eh? Oh, what's this? What? I need Nibrium ore to cook meat? Huh? Apparently. That's weird. Yeah. No, apparently. Hmm. That is just weird. All right. Let's take those. I don't think we can produce anything else, can we? Oh, I suppose we can make some of these. That's fairly quick. So lead, hmm? Hmm. Plastic. Nebriums, yeah. Ooh. We can make a backpack. That's handy. Let's do that. We're almost done creating our Nebrim. Come on. There we go. Take all. And create a backpack. No? Aluminum ingots. Aluminum ingots. Iron ingots. Iron ingots. Okay. Uh, why won't it let me? Hmm? Oh, it also... Re I didn't see that. It's grayed out. It also requires five lead ingots. 
Of course it does. All right. Hmm. What was the other thing it was after? A battery? Pistol? Suit power? Ah, I see. So it'd be nice to find lead, by the looks of it. Okay. Hmm. Might as well make a couple. I think they are going to be handy. And who knows when we'll run across another... Uh, another stash of these. Or another one of these uh, machines, you know. He's at it again, eh? Where did he... Uh, Oh, that's a weird looking thing up the hill there. Look at that. <laughs> that is truly strange. Alright. Okay. So we should be good. We've got some food. Um, in fact... Can I eat one of those foods? Hmm? Hmm? Split, drop, or delete. Okay. How do I actually eat it? Oh, nine. I see. Ooh, it didn't heal me as far as I might like. Okay. It's a little better, I guess. Hmm. Alright. Now they want us to find a station. Okay. Gonna keep our eye open for uh, lead. That's iron. Be nice if it actually told you. Although, I mean, I guess that. Whoa! Sorry. Oh, no, don't be. Okay, those things have, yeah, way too. Way too big an aggro range, holy. That's just crazy. Could this be lead? Nope. Hmm. And so far, I'm only seeing those two minerals. So I'm not sure where lead will show up. God. Everything seems to be ranged, you know? Really? It's still coming after me? Come on. Oh, piss off. Hmm. 
That's nuts. Would actually chase you that far across the landscape. Is that freaking thing? Good lord. <laughs> okay, it doesn't tell you any information, it just has a mark down there. Oh well. I mean, it is early access, but still. might be what we're after. I see something off in the distance, finally. Sodium hydroxide. Ew. I thought it was actually more nibirium. Nibirubium? <laughs> How about you? No. You're not anything. Nibiria. Whoop. Hey, dude. Now yeah, you're friendly, are you? Okay. Well, at least not overtly hostile. So yeah, I can see a slight color difference. One is more blue, the other is more purple. So. Let's uh, do our power on our O2. Uh, we're going to eat whatever that can of stuff is. Alright, now we should be in some sort of condition to uh, approach that base. I am a little worried still about that uh, orange colored robot there. Don't feel their intent might be all that honorable. Let's see if we can just get around them here. Here we 
go. Not a soul. There is no one left here either, but it's full of dust and trash. It seems that the base has been abandoned for a long time. You need to check the computer. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, do that first. Okay, now they want us to check the computer. But isn't this the one that was full of bugs before? Just don't tell me he patched them right out of the game. <laughs> I don't want to, uh, just in case that triggers them, I don't want to go there until my meat is finished cooking. Because it does seem we get our butts kicked fairly regular, and so far this is my only, uh, only way to make good on health. Because, uh, these things, yeah, require all kinds of other bits and bobs. That's straight out of Imperian, eh? <laughs> it's the same uh, health pack they use in Imperial Galactic Survival. Alright, there we are. Let's take all of those. The installation of the Raider Station was completely successful. All equipment is connected and working properly. I send station coordinates and cipher in a separate file. Leading engineer of the YR group, Konstantin Devyatkin. Not bad. If the raider has survived, I can get the coordinates of other objects built by the first colonists. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. All right. That's why I ran, because I knew those things were out there. It's a pretty rock, but it isn't of any use to me. Alright, let's continue on here. You can see the, uh, these from a long ways off, eh? Wow. Well, we did use a few of these for making meat. Suck a couple of these back. There we go. We're looking pretty good. Another one. There we go. I would imagine that would be the place there. How are we doing? Power is okay. O2 is okay. Health is okay. Alright.
Uh, is this the one that was full of worms? Yeah, you can hear them. Yeah, there they are. couple of chests over in that corner, but I don't know if we'll actually have time to get to them. Our first uh, goal is upstairs, so... The station has not been visited for a long time. However, get out of the way. The Gee. Okay. Now we're supposed to get out and check the computer. That's the computer we need to check over there. Now I can go to the base and find out why they don't get in touch. It's very dangerous here at night. It's not known what creatures the dusk of this alien world is fraught with. We need to get to the base as soon as possible. Okay. So where is this base? Find the main base. Oh. Oh god. But there's no marker. No. Oh, there's something right there. Okay. Let's go. Uh-oh, we're out of them. Yikes. Uh, there we are. Oh, come on. I think that's it off in the distance. Run. Run, run, run. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? Come on. 19, 19, 20, thank you. Ugh. It's not what I needed it to be either. Okay. Back to the pistola. Hmm. No, those aren't lights, they're just more glowy, glowy bits. I'm gonna about run my stamina bar again. Whoa. These are apparently harvestable. Alright. Interesting. Let's cover a bit of ground. Oh, come on. I've got no, uh, here we go, slowly I've got one first aid kit left, god, oh, and I've just run out of stamina again, come on, come on, oh, go, 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 god damn it. God, it's ridiculous. Oh, come on. Oh, they're all empty now. God damn it. Okay, that was it for first aid. Wow. Storage, interesting. Nothing happens when I press E. Um. Oh, that's a window. Okay, good. I was going to say, <laughs> can't I close the door? Man, it's nasty out there, eh? Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I can't make those. Hmm. I need this, and I need these. These I haven't found. This I guess I can make. Something. Yeah. Oh, nothing I have. All right, so it looks like we're going to make the meat. Wow. Hmm. 
Not available. What? Empty. What? I'll try to make ammunition. I think a workbench is suitable for this purpose. So I take it this is supposed to become our main base of operation, is it? So they'd like me to make bullets, would they? Alright. Pistol cartridges, who knows? Ah, requires iron ore, which we, unfortunately, no longer have. So, hmm. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to have to basically wait till daytime before we can go out there. Yeah. I don't see any iron in that direction. Nothing stashed here, maybe? You know? Yeah, half of these things you press E but nothing happens. These are some sort of hydroponic systems by the look of them. go out there and get some iron. Um, hmm. But I would really prefer it became daylight. So I think what we'll do, uh, I don't know, I wonder what the odds are that it'll actually leave us here. Any iron deposits, unfortunately. Alright, we're going to have to leave it here for now, guys. So, we definitely got a little further than last time. I guess the deal is, is you don't want to hang around in places those worms spawn, because they are going to spawn forever. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did and you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Till next time, though, this has been Species 7 looking at Nibiru. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.